and seals and Valentine's Day in the manner of Dan Cupid. <laughs> Congratulations to Tommy Rose, King's Cup winner of 1935, who has shattered the London to Cape record, knocking 13 hours off Amy Mullison's time. Tommy Rose is a veteran of Empire Air Travel, and this picture shows him in Cape Town in 1932. In those days, the record from Cape Town, seen below, was 10 days against three days now. In September 1918, the first wireless message from Britain was received in Sydney, when Mr. W. M. Hughes was Premier. In his presence, this little monument is now unveiled to commemorate that date in the garden of Alderman Stanley Crick, well-known film personality of Sydney. Will future generations, I wonder, be surprised that we commemorate so simple and obvious a development as wireless? Mr. de Valera, bereaved. An overhanging branch cut short the life of his son, Brown, as he galloped his horse in Phoenix Park, Dublin. What a terribly tragic way for the Irish president's son to meet his death. Mr. de Valera and his other sons follow the coffin to the graveside at Glasnevin Cemetery. Their grief is bitter, and with their grief, Britain and the Empire sympathises, mourning with the Irish Free State, shocked at the poignant tragedy. Outside Cairo, the Bedouins stage a desert gymkhana before an appreciative audience of Egyptians and English. These horses, Arab steeds of poetry and fiction, are the stock from which all the world's great racing thoroughbreds are sprung, and an Arab fantasia is one of the sights of the East. A camel race shows the ships of the desert bearing down at full speed on the winning post. Afterwards, Lady Boyd, wife of the Minister of the Interior, distributes prizes while the band plays appropriate music. Sorry, that's the wrong band. It's cold everywhere and New York is nearly frozen in. The Hudson is just a mass of ice. Way down south in Chesapeake Bay, there's an island called Tangier and that is frozen in. So much so that the Chilean inhabitants have been starving for days. So they send a blimp to the rescue, a fat airship full of food. As it lands on the ice, there's a rush to the blimp. Hungry people hurry across and surround the rescue ship, like bees round honey. Milan's annual carnival is in very patriotic mood. Oh, yeah, oh, si, senor, avanti, Savoia. With floats extolling the wrecks, the duchy, and the cause of Italy generally. The biggest laugh is a caricature of Harry Selassie, complete with Red Cross umbrella. Caricaturo magnifico, ejaculari spaghetti imperatori Ethiopia con molti fiorori, and a final boo for the inglesi perfidio, John Bullio Humbugio, oye, excellente Milano!